Well, hasn't Fuji been busy in the kitchen today? Holy crap. When they announce something, they go for it. They announce everything they have for the next 15 years. I'm on board. Was I sent any of it to review? It's not that I'm in Fuji's bad books as people not to trust. I, I do good reviews here and they love me. So today I give you my generalized thoughts on whether or not these gear items might smell good or not. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the Fuji X-T4 with the kit lens and I promise not to zoom in dramatically as we switch to talking about the different focal lengths and representing them in the zoom range of my lens. I will do that. So first we talk about their dying GFX system, the 50S Mark II. They made it sound so good. The giant pixels were like, oh, 50 megapixels, but with the medium format, best dynamic range in the business. And we see DP Review get their little beer soaked hands on them and they shoot 1080p. That's all it can do, 1080p. And it's like line skipped. They said it's worse than their phone. Oh, man, I'm waiting for a GFX video centric line, little flippy screen on there, the IBIS, knock it down to 12 megapixels. Imagine those pixels. They'd be, each one would be bigger than your own camera. Well, I would love to try a medium format camera in here, but I don't know, they're not calling to me. Like this one only has contrast detect. Panasonic actually gave them advice on how to use it properly. Panasonic autofocus. So I look forward to their video centric GFX camera anytime now. And they got a bunch of lenses, 55 mil Tony 1.7, which would be like a 1.3 ish. That, that'd be phenomenal. A 40 ish, 43 ish. That's a good lens. That'd be about a 28 on an APS-C lineup. And we could have this type of life. Imagine that with a blurrier background you got something on your video centric GFX camera, the GFX V1 for video. Can't wait. They also have a wide, a 20 to 35. That's a weird one. It's like 16 to 28. No aperture known. We have no idea. I don't know. If it was me, and I'm getting a GFX. I'd probably go with that 23 mil Tony 4, even though it weighs 1500 pounds. You couldn't lift it. You would need two tripods, I think. One underneath with a pillow for the lens to rest on. But why am I leaning so down? You can't lean down. That would just, your spine would crumple in on itself. It's forward and back, side. I know how leans work. I'll be honest with you, I'm not too excited about it. We don't know what the Toniature is. And it's medium format anyway, very big and heavy and expensive, but it's fun to dream. It's fun to dream. They got a tilt shift lens. Now, when that guy brought it out, it looked like a beer mug, something way bigger than it should be. It was like, oh, and we have this. Do you mind that it's this sized? It was so wide. I don't think it'll fit on their camera. They have to redesign it. How are you going to hold it? It's going to break your knuckles. It's a knuckle breaker. Tilt. Tilting knuckle breaker lens. We don't know what the focal length is or the aperture, but we know it's big and expensive. And I want one. I demand it. Now let's get into the real news, the X system. That's where Fuji lives in our hearts. They got a 23 mil Tony 1.4 simulated 23 mil. Now I sold my 23 mil 1.4 because the 16 mil 1.4 is like, it's better. It's the same kind of, it was too close together, but a new one, it was so loud too. So they fixed everything. We have complaints about Fuji lenses and they're mainly that they're so loud and the focus isn't right. They're working on it. So they're replacing all their older lenses. This one should be better. Do I want it? We could have this eh, 35 mil for me, not my favorite. It's not magic enough. I like either super wide or 24 mil or longer 50. Skip over that 35 loser shot. When you move it on into 33 mil, which is what we're at now, now we're talking. Now you're not in an awkward teenager phase. The 23 mil, just I'm only speaking from my experience in my living room. 
I don't like the way 35 equiv, I've confused myself, looks. Whereas this is more of a 50 full frame equiv. I like it better. The compression, eagles, not enough tonne. That hurts. But this is the lens I would probably get, the 33 mil, if I wanted to get something more magical. Instead of the 16, that'd be a good pairing. The 16 and the 33 get much different looks, although technically I already have it with the kit lens, but we're at Tony 3.6. Oh, man, if you cut that down, you would notice it so fast, you'd be like, wow. Now in one of their more interesting moves, they share a new philosophy. They want to go beyond and below. Don't quote me on that. They want to reach longer and go wider, but did they? The long lens, 150 to 600, is like a 225 to 900. That could be fun. The 100 to 400, it's big, it's heavy. Can this be lighter somehow? I doubt it. Why would it be? It's going to be a lot heavier, but it could be fun for birds. It's more of a development announcement. We don't know the toniature, the weight, the cost. But it's coming and I'm excited. It's just, I find with Fuji zooms, for some reason, they're like the same exact size as full frame. Maybe they're sharper and better, but they're the same size and cost. The 2.8 zooms, it's like, uh, so what's this gonna be? I don't know. I don't know. And with that little Fuji X-T4 grip and a big ass lens, I see arthritis coming to somebody. What I don't understand is they said, we want to go longer and wider. So we're bringing an 18 to 120. I don't understand it. They have an 18 to 135. What are we doing? So it's like a 27 to something, 180. What are you going to do with that? It's, it's not enough and it's too much. I just don't know how they included that lens in the sentence of going longer and wider because it's not wider than anything and we're waiting for a wide prime something better than what we have. They got two wide options, the 10 to 24, not enough Tonys, 8 to 16, too heavy. Where's my 12 mil Tony 1.8? Make it happen. 1.4. 1, 2. Tony 2. Would I even buy it? I don't know, but like I'm pretty happy with the 16 mil 1.4. It's a fantastic lens. So do you really need it? Probably not, but I want to demand it so I can look at it and decide on who needs it. The most exciting announcement saved for last. It's just a sensor announcement, but the way they spun it, a stacked backside illuminated X-Trans sensor. There's something about X-Trans. I don't know how it works. It's like the colors are different, a different array. Instead of RGB white, it's RGGB black mauve pink. I'm making things up as I point is. They figured out a way to make it different than other conventional sensors. And it seems to be better that way. Like nobody's doing it. And then they figured out something and it's like there's more dynamic range, a more filmic look to it because of the X-Trans. We're talking X-H2 potential here. A video-centric new processor that could be fun. Will Fuji catch up to the competition in autofocus? Can we rely on it finally with Fuji Magic? You got something. I'm excited for the future. And then I already got the lens the lens that I want, and then maybe a 33 mil, can you even imagine it? I can't. But that's what Fuji kind of lacks now, the autofocus polish. Just everything to be polished and more custom buttons and get rid of these dials. If it's a video centric camera, give me the custom modes and saving video settings to the custom modes. Just make my life, it's not very easy to use a Fuji camera. It's very weird. I don't know, maybe some of you photographers like these shutter dials on top and it makes you feel like nostalgic from your film days. I never used those film cameras. I don't know what you seek. I just, I want something fast. Let me change the settings quickly and easily. And the dials aren't it. Those should be gone. Custom modes. Let me save all the settings to one mode and then boom, slow-mo, next mode. There better be 480 frames per second. You got a new stacked sensor. Believe it's happening. You already do 240p. We know 480 is coming and I appreciate it. Thank you. So there is hope in our future for Fuji to develop 
technology that matches its heart. It's already got the magic look and like the feel, the nostalgic, just classical heritage, if you will. And then couple that with technology that actually does smooth autofocus and not like exposure stepping that's really weird. If they come out with an X-H2 that just blows me away, I could picture getting rid of this piece of shit, getting that and a new GFX video centric one when that comes. And then you got your two systems, APS-C for lighter wildlife and then GFX in here, sell the Sony for $18 to get a lens cap for the Fuji GFX lens and break my back in the making of a new movie. I hope that day comes GFX in here and then wildlife vlogs with the X-H2 and the Tamron 18 to 300. So well done, Fuji. You've redeemed yourself. I didn't know you lost your redemption, but it's back and good for you. Good for you. So let me know what you thought. What was your favorite focal length today? Wow, that's certainly revealing. A little less magical. Let me just hide my notes out of the shot. Thank you for watching today and buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt and whatever products I link down below. And thank you for being here. And subscribing.